Hello once more, Internet. Uh, where we last left off, we actually have a run that's not going horribly. Hooray! It's the first in a while. while. So, let us continue. It's a long road. Alright, what are you? Knolls. Knolls are not that bad for us. Although, this city is not great. Maximum population of nine. I may just curb them and uh, stomp them into the ground anyway. Ah, crap. This is the type of thing I'm most afraid of. So, let's see if we can move this someplace else that's still viable. No, not really. Uh, not really, no. Because the this unit moves fast enough where me moving here is probably going to cause them to get attacked, isn't it? Let's uh, double check. Because this is actually the most viable location, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to be viable. Oh, I'll slow that down by a turn. How about you? Can I... Yeah, I can do that. Oh, good. I survived. That's nice. Maybe I can bring this unit down to where I want it to go. That was here, right? It was here. Although this is even better now that I'm looking. I like ones with really high production bonuses. And that has a really high production bonus. I guess now that I can actually see this entire area, I can double check. Uh, I'm going to go with the lower one, I guess. Just rumble. Well, I'm still going to go with the lower one. Assuming I can make it there. That's the reason why I saved. All right, stomp these folks into the ground. They have extra movement? They do have extra movement! Interesting. So, the way that the um, game, or the mod creator did this was that they basically took the idea of, okay, swordsmen. Every species is going to have a unique feature on swordsmen. They're all going to be the same base unit, except with insert change here. Knolls have speed, apparently, and that makes things interesting. So that means I want everybody to move back one. Alas, poor Brax. We barely knew him at all. Go ahead and use your fairy dust on one of them. Yeah, that's more like what I was expecting that to do. Oof. Well, we're done. Um, I don't want the Knoll City. I do like the idea of having Knolls, but that location's terrible. It's in the Arctic. Look, it only had a maximum population of nine. And there's tundra everywhere. It's not worth keeping the city. I did not mean to move that. Herp derp. Okay, you've got Nagas up there. I'll count to ten, and when I open my eyes, you had better be gone. Who? Where? What? What do you want, Horace? Go ahead and build a shaman. That's... Yeah, those are your Nagas. You only have one set of Nagas, so that's at least possible for me to fight off. You are neutral, and you're at war with... Oh, okay. That's nice. Change spells? Ooh, yes! You are a life maid! That means you actually have spells. Good. Uh, bless. Offer tribute as a spell. I will give you fires. Fine. I'll give you something circle. Now they're green. 
which means I should be able to Wizard Pact. You know what? Yes. All right, so they won't attack me, assuming that this was a good idea. Is it a good idea? No, they're also maniacal. Uh. Oh, well. They're at least pragmatists, so they're balanced. They're an Archmage with Sorcery and Life. Interesting. They have one fame. Green has zero fame, although they now have Blackhawk the Druid. I, on the other hand, have more than all of that fame. I have five fame. Minus two food. Because I tweaked one of them. That'll work. Ooh, that's multiple Naga. Well, on the plus side, I have a wizard pack. They shouldn't be attacking me. That's a lot of Naga. Crap. Magicians. Oh, you'll notice magicians have missiles immunity, which means that magicians would be able to kill slingers really easily. One of the reasons why you want it both. Also, magicians are now actually casters. Just not something that they had before as an ability. I should probably save, because I don't know where those wandering monsters went. I think they may have actually gone to that town. That would be nice if they did. Anything? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I have learned True Sight. That is good. Yeah, Heavenly Light is not a bad idea. <laughs> Targeted unit is overwhelmed by religious feelings and desires to serve a greater power. The unit costs no gold to maintain and produces three power. And the upkeep is one magic, uh, one mana. Am I reading that right? That this is effectively a spell that costs... For as long as I keep a unit for 35 turns, it's free? Interesting. Still gonna go with Heavenly Light, though. Looks like I might actually be able to make it. Alright, you're going to patrol there. I'm gonna bring my units up to three for each city. A little concerned about those Nagas. And you've declared war on me. Cool. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to send my unit stack over. It's going to take forever to get there. Zaldron, Zaldron the Sage. Much better. This is more like the type of unit I wanted. I like magic user units. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't say yes, so I'm going to say yes. It's just going to cost most of my money, that's all. Okay, um, go to there. Now it was that spot that I wanted to go to for building. Zaldrin, I want you to go down there. Yeah, it looks like blue's just passing through. I don't mind them passing through. Patrol. You're up to three. I'm going to switch you over to a Forester's Guild. Get more food. Get your food action on. Patrol. This is the spot that I wanted you to build. I have extra food. Food. You're going to switch back to that. Oh, you'll be done with the Fighter's Guild next turn. That's nice. Dang, that's a lot of units that they're throwing through. Admittedly, Nagas are summoned units, but you can't actually build Nagas, so they're just summoning things left and right, which... Wait. Oh, yeah, it would be sorcery. Never mind. That's actually right. I'm going to build Slingers for a bit. Build 
killed. Eventon. It'll probably get conquered. I'm just assuming. <coughs> At least that's a magic weapon. I might as well just search this um, area of darkness in case I find anything awesome. You now have three units. You're going to switch over to Sage's Guild? Yeah, we need more research. Patrol. Patrol. What is in you? A Jin. It's probably a terrible idea. <laughs> the Jin teleports away and casts invisibility immediately. So these are what Nagas are going to be like. They're first strike and poison. They are nasty. On the plus side, we have Slingers. Slingers can take care of Naga pretty well. Unfortunately, you know what can't take care of Nagas very well? Or what we can't take it very well is the stupid invisible thing. Um, however, I do have True Sight now. I'm gonna cast True Sight on Serena. We now know that they're way over there with seven ammo. Damn it, that's not gonna work very well. Healer, heal thyself, please. Rather the swordsman take the hit. Like I said I'd rather the swordsman take the hit. Serena, heal. Actually, maybe I'll heal. I can't. Fine. Serena, heal. Slingers. Having healed slingers is a good idea. Healer, heal thyself. Me. Starfire? Mm, dealt damage. Oh crap, you're nearly dead. And you're also out of magic. Yep, this was a bad idea. This is why we save in advance. Okay, that is the end of the map. Okay. We are going to build an iron still, so you get more production. It's a nomad. So they're nomads. So nomads have the advantage of extremely fast growth. They have the fastest growth in the game, if I remember right. Uh, they have the disadvantage of the fact that they get zero bonus food. So they can't even build a granary. Um, their units are pretty good, and their expertise is in mercantilism. So I would not mind nomad cities. Okay, you're up to three. So we're going to change you over to library, I guess. Control. Making a decent amount of money per turn. I need to build that up some. Um, we need to start enchanting people. Heavenly Light is so expensive right now.
I bet this 28 is actually my power. That would make sense from what I'm seeing. So none of these are instant because they're all above. Uh, yeah, magic spirits cost 30. I, if I really have 28, that would make sense. Um, I want to cast some holy weapons. Actually, endurance might not be a bad idea now that I think about it. That way the slingers will actually move at decent clip. Or of Majesty, okay. Or of Majesty, if I remember right, allows you to recruit here. I don't remember anymore. I'll check in a moment. Yeah, I can go ahead and increase growth some. Holy weapon. Uh, <laughs> I will conquer them. Not a slinger. Okay, what was I checking? I already forgot. Oh yeah, what does um or Majesty do? Uh yeah, it increases diplomatic relations. I don't really care. Why are you at war with me? You stopped your silly war with green. Which is unfortunate they're building in me. I guess I do have a large gap between my cities. I should have just built. Wait, no, they're green. Right. So I'm at least at war with them. Spell magic. I get a funny feeling I'm going to need it soon. Horus has cast Just Cause. Alright, so that means that they get their fame increase. Eventon's now a hamlet. That's nice for Eventon. Uh, let's see. Could start building a navy. That's not a terrible idea, actually. You're just going to stay put. Um, I should be able to take on one of these now. Probably not cockatrices, though. No. Just no. It was the other one. <laughs> oh, it was green that I'm at war with, not blue. Okay, well, the stack is going to go up there. So yep, they added a hotkey to be able to allow me to switch between my cities quickly. Good job, game. Builders Hall for my capital. Paperite's Guild's finished, so I can now build a galley. Notice that they actually have a fairly high attack. They have a 10 attack, but galleys are the weakest of the seas. Merch. Mm. One moment. I am back. Visited by the ghost of Isian. No, um. Ghost? Visited by the presence of Isian. Um, no, my housemate was mentioning that I still have this out, so. Um. There we go. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. I wanted to build the Builder's Hall so I can build the Merchant's Guild. Okay. Um, before. Is this the Bears? Oops. Many Gorgons. Many Angel. I don't think I could take on an Angel, but let's find out. Oh, that's a lot of angels. It did say many. This was a terrible mistake. And teleport behind me and devour. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just no. 
load. I can't approach that city, unfortunately. And you are a stone giant. I don't think I can take a stone giant. Now I have a kitty in my lap. This is good. Yes, build the university. And you finish that. Merchant's Guild. Oh, bless you. Increases taxes paid by 40%. Bank is 30%. Interesting. So I guess if this becomes a center of mercantilism, that would not be a terrible plan. But we'll go with the Sage's Guild for now. Also, I need food. Okay. Um, I want to check that nature node. No. If it was just the stone giant, I might be able to take it. Not that many cockatrices. Yeah. This entrance already nearly dead. Who would have thought? Yep, nope. Nope. We're done with this. Uh, what am I going to need for the cockatrices? Out of curiosity. Yeah, slingers actually work fairly well against cockatrices. They don't work well against the snow giant, though. I wasn't planning on going up there anyway. I want to go toward there instead. Library. My food's back up. How are you doing? You're still at one. Yeah, we'll go like that. That's fine. Ooh, I'm not making much money anymore. I should worry about income. Bank. Yeah, that's... 29 money, 30% of 29 would be 9, approximately. I don't know how rounding's going to work on it yet, but, you know, still good to have. Um, in that case, go ahead and build Builder's Hall. We need to increase our money production, our monies in Dire Straits. Although, we could increase taxes. All right, what do you have in here? One swordsman. I think we can take one swordsman on. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, um, so toward the end of the last run, I had mentioned that I had just had a unit missing. What ended up happening was that confusion was cast on the unit. And in the DLC, if you end battle while a unit is confused, they are destroyed. That is new. And I'm not very appreciative of that. You're going to heal yourself. You're gonna cast a spell. Maybe Phantom Waves, maybe Sonic Blast yourself. Sonic Blast. Slingers. Done. Yeah, that's what you get. There's a... Power projection. I am dead last on army strength and power production. I'm doing great on spell power, though. So I need to increase my armies and power production, probably. Um, what about historian? Yeah, I'm not doing so great on the power part.
I need a boat. Unfortunately, my I don't have anything on the inside. Uh, detect magic is not a bad plan. Well, we're in you. Night Stalker and a few skeletons. A few Chaos Spawn. Maybe be able to take out this one? I don't think I can, but I'm gonna try. Oh, never mind. They have three fire giants. How are you alive? <laughs> Just curiosity. Yeah, I can actually fight Chaos Spawn. Okay, that's good to know. Saldron, cast using your own magic. True sight on slingers. Gone. Thank you. You're still missile immune, but that's okay. I've got other things now. Fairy dust, that did nothing. Crud. Let's see, you have actual magic still. You don't have enough for starfires. You have enough for bless and holy weapon. Wait, one of you have holy weapon, don't you? Can you actually hit? No. It's worth a shot. Um, that means that I want you to do that. Serena. I want you to start star firing. You need to back up further. Starfire, you. That didn't do as much this time, unfortunately. That's fine. These swordsmen are actually fairly good at their job. Um, I'm gonna hold off on spending MP. Of my own, that is. Starfires. You. Move in. Attack. One. Two. Blast. Not that that's going to do anything. Last Starfire? Nope, I'm out. So I will cast Starfire. We are triumphant. We found 240 mana crystals. That was worth it. It was mostly on the way anyway. Eventon has grown to a population of three, which is my cue to switch you over to a sawmill. So expensive. We're out of food. I'm going to end up picking up magicians from here. In fact, I might as well start. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you enchant item. So let's go ahead and save, and I will show you enchant item. I'm probably just going to cancel out of it. This is the enchant item screen. I can make what I want. So I get to choose between various different portraits. Uh, in this case, these are all swords. But we also have maces, axes, bows, staves, wands, miscellaneous things. Uh, the list over here are the th spells that I can put onto something. It's not based off of what I know, strangely enough, as in magic. 
it's based off of how many ranks of life magic I have, which is a little weird. So I can make a wand of the exorcist if I really wanted to. What I actually want is a staff, a bunch of spell skill, spell charges. These are ones that I only I can cast. Um, how much would it cost to do that? A lot. Um, plus four staff of wizardry. I can do a minus one spell save. Minus one spell save is really nice, actually. Um, plus one movement. Anyway, this would cost me 550 mana to create. Which means that I am now casting that spell, which will cost me 550 mana and take that many turns to make. I don't even have 550 mana, although I would by the time I was done, I think. I'm not doing that right now, but it's basically your option if you can't find anything in dungeons. Instead, I am going to start casting other things, like... You know, it's not a terrible idea to actually have True Sight permanently on one of those wizards. But I'm going to start casting Heroism because I am going to take these two. And I'm going to need to heroize both of them. That's a turn, right? Patrick. There's Race Dead. There's Resurrection. Well, not a terrible idea for me to grab Resurrection, is it? Got a revolt. Go ahead and build a Parthenon. Build a magic market. You are now a hero. Congratulations. You actually have one unit in there. That's fine. That'll finish casting next turn in time for my combat. We're going to throw you in with a bank, so you actually make a decent amount of money. Slingers, that slinger already has it. That slinger does not. There we go. And they're going to save over maybe and invade. Serena, heal yourself, please. Do not actually heal as much as you should have. I will heal you as well, Serena. It's okay. There we go. So you'll notice that these swordsmen have bows. That's another addition, is that all of their nomad units have ranged attacks. Well, not all of them. A lot of them do. However, oh yeah, they also have actually. Uh, you have Fireball. Fireball! <laughs> I did not check to see if this was a good city or not. I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, that's actually a reasonable city. Okay. I would like to have some nomads, if I can help it. Get some variety, as it were. You're going to switch to housing because you're a tiny city. I know it's going to overlap a little bit, but that's fine. Um, let's see. You should probably start prepping for a Parthenon because your population is getting a little high. Now, what's your population? 14 by the time I needed one? Eh, maybe you don't need a Parthenon yet. Oh, well, I'll just be in a, I'll just do it in advance. You have a few Chaos Spawn. You have a few Earth Elemental. You have War Bears. 
I can probably take these now. Oh uh, yeah, I was going to start casting Heroism to have my other magic -y friends do things. Maybe I can actually take here. Maybe. Okay, you are immune to stoning and poison. Magician, fireball, gargoyles. Magician, fireball, gargoyles. This is chaos magic. Oops, I did not mean to hit the chaos spawn. Uh, since it's chaos magic, it's not going to be affected by the node. That's the reason why it's like, yeah, no, you should totally do that. Yeah, this is actually possible. Um, the chaos spawn are going to be the problem. I dealt one damage. That was the swordsman. Yeah, this is possible. It's just going to be hard, and I may end up losing units. That's fine. Soldier has garbage attack right now, unfortunately. I can't attack them because they are flying. back if you back one attack took out one spawn back one attack you stand there magician magician I lost one Slinger, so I can rebuild Slingers, so that's not as big of a deal. And I just took a node. Nice! Gained one fame, 478 gold, and 111 mana crystals. Well, we are no longer casting Heroism. We are instead... Summoning Circle here. And we are going to summon a Guardian Spirit. So we can actually harvest the node. Hooray! Mm, my capital should probably be building other things. So we'll just buy that. Like, you know, garrison. <laughs> Magicians. Or slingers. We'll go with another slingers. Guardian spirit summoned. Green Spirit, you're going there. The rest of the group, you are going that way. A few Earth Elementals. Luckily, Earth Elementals are really slow. Unlike the bears. So, you're going to cast Fireball on bears. That didn't work. Cool. Fireball? Not so great. Um, you are going to cast Fairy Dust on bears. Worked better. Not great. You're going to cast Starfires. So they are fantastic units. Yeah, Starfire is better than... Psionic Blast, but Psionic Blast is illusion-based attack. Starfires only hit uh, imaginary units, or um, fantastic units. There we go. War Bears are fantastic units. They are fantastic indeed. I mean, we're still going to have to deal with the Earth Elementals, but we can actually move around them.
You're not injured. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, these have high resistance, low armor. Yep. So my magicians won't be doing as much damage, but that's fine. Uh, actually, speaking of, I need to heroism the other one anyway. Do a little bit more damage at least. See, we actually have halfway decent force now. And dead. Gained one fame, 140 gold, and a retort of famous. We found our fame! We found our fame. Nice. So now, when we look at the mirror, we have famous. Famous doubles the chance of a wizard buying magic items, quadruples the chance for mercenaries, and heroes joining may be a higher level than normal. Now that we also have a bunch of money, these are really good things to have at the same time. We're doing well! Maybe. Meld. Nice. Or bears we can handle, for sure. This is probably not even going to be a threat. Yep. Done. Zaldrin leveled up! Hooray! We found money. Nothing wrong with money. What is in you? A few cockatrices. We might be able to take on that nature node, too. <clears throat> so we're going to need somebody to garrison this. Um because AIs will absolutely try to take my node, especially ones that we're at war with. So that's good to know. That moment I got an email, I'm just checking on my tablet right over here. At least it said I got an email, I don't see it. Uh, rotate. Rotate. Ah, there's the email. Okay. Um, let's see. Can we summon anything other than another guardian spirit? No. I would like to have a flyer there. That shuts down a lot of things. Email app's not working. Okay. Kushana has done stuff, and I just spotted it. Oh, that was the same one. Okay. Uh, you can go to Granary now. Yeah, go to Granary. Um, you're big enough now. But you... Right, you can't even build a Granary if you tried. You don't have a smithy. You're going to build a smithy. You have a sawmill, but no smithy. Sure. Let's go ahead and start casting Just Cause. I have an excess of food. Probably surprising. I'm 
rather have my capital build food. We're at 45 minutes, okay. So, uh, now that we have the Parthenon, uh, we're not going to have any unrest for a while. Let's go ahead and shipwrights or go to Wizard's Guild. Ah, <sighs> or Fighter's Guild. Ooh. Fighter's Guild it is. You can't see the scene? We have a bonk. Hooray for the bonk. We can now build galleys on top of triremes. Oh, that's right. We could do that before. Not a bad idea for us to start building a couple of galleys to explore the water. So I'm going to. All right. I'm going to go over there. Jafar has cast Aether Binding. What's that do? That's a new spell. Or a renamed spell. They did rename some spells, so I'm not sure what some of these do. Aether Binding. Oh, okay. So in base Master of Magic... Um, sorcery magic actually had something called true spells, which was like dispel magic true, um, dispel area true. Uh, they were basically more powerful versions of the generic spells everybody else already has. Aether Binding just makes their regular spells into those true versions rather than having a separate set of spells. We don't have any spells. Um, how about... You take Detect Magic. How about you also take Dispel Magic? And... Chant out. There we go. Darker Green. I would like an Alliance. You know what? I'll give you Guardian Spirit. How could I refuse the one who gave me the Secrets of Enchant item? We now have an Alliance. Which means that we can now walk through each other's territory, which is very handy. And also they'll come to my aid. Which is also handy. I think this is actually... Po oh, I didn't notice the sprites. <sighs> yeah, I need higher magic resistance units. Which I'm not going to get very well as halflings, unfortunately. Um, you have unicorns. You have nagas. Nagas I can handle. You probably have some other garbage too, but whatever. Of course you ended up building there, but that's okay. You're an ally now, so I'm not as concerned about them ICSing over my territory. Um, I need to start building over in here, I bet. Any good spots? Twelves? Twelves not the worst, and that has silver ore on it. Yeah, this spot was 13. That was actually halfway decent. Could just build up here for a 12. Eh. Really need to start exploring outside of my continent. Altar of Peace is not a bad idea. Hello, Jafar. Peace Treaty? I will accept. I do not wish to be at war forever. 
We are a peaceful halfling village. But know that we will conquer if we need to. I have finished casting Just Cause. So, yep, so I have even more fame now. Fame is good. Switch over to Magicians. So, you have two Slingers, two Magicians, and two Heroes. I would... And one Swordsman. I would like another melee unit, but unfortunately Halflings are terrible at melee. Yeah, what, the Mechanician's Guild gives me a Catapult, which is not the worst, but it's really slow. Uh, yep. Oh, there's more blue with a Heavenly Light spell cast. And Barbarian City, too, I just noticed. Oh, hey, look, somebody beat me to there to go defend it. I'm going to be very upset if they actually take that. I was one turn away. What is it, Isin? Anyway. Who are you, anyway? Taron, you are tense, you are chaotic. Which is just lol random. And you're a thurgist, so you prefer spell research. Okay. You've got two heroes, same as me. You have all the chaos magic, and you are a channeler. So your range penalty is dropped. And you only take half, you spend half for spell maintenance. Okay. You're also at war with my ally. This is not going to end well, is it? I can hire wolf riders. That's the type of unit I was looking for. It's an, another melee unit. Oh, it's three wolf riders, actually. Um, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Let's hire them. Oh, hey, look, they've already declared war on me. <sighs> Grumble. Did you? Yep, they changed the color. Well, I can just do it back. That's fine. One of you is going over there. We're going to save and see if we can take on the Nagas. It's just Nagas. I think we can do this. So Nagas have high resistance, low defense. They have even lower defense. Okay. One done. Nice. Taken care of. And a summon hero spell. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's a lower hero. Don't care. Could totally use it. Oh, I was still having you build boats. You should not be building boats anymore. Uh, Merchant's Guild? Kind of running low on money production. And you're actually a good city. Uh, alternately, university and get myself some more research. Oh, you should actually build city walls, now that I think about it. That would be a better plan. Oh, 
Okay, so canals do not work in this game. That's good to know. Or in you. Unicorns. I might be able to fight unicorns, but unicorns are deadly. You should also build city walls. Current and spirit summoned, which means that I am going to summoning circle. Uh, Mirandale's actually closer and cast guardian spirit again. You are producing magicians. That's good. You're going to just start going down there now because screw you, game. <laughs> Alright, what is this northern area? You're just going to sit tight for one turn. I'm lacking in food again because I keep banking more units. Next turn, I have about three minutes left ish of the recording. You have a city wall now, congratulations. Now you can build your university. You have constructed your spy. No, oh, you actually can build Forester's Guild, and you get rangers that way. Neat. You should do that. Oh, yeah. You do have a forest in your area, so you actually can do that. Nice. I'm not at war with green. I'm at war with red. All on the boat. Two... One, zero. All off the boat. Scout that first. Many earth elementals. I can fight earth elementals, so I may end up doing that. And meld. <laughs> Give me back my magic sparkles, damn it. So the AI would do some really weird things when it came to um, their units that are on a go-to. So like, say for instance, that AI that was sending a magic spirit over to the node to steal it from Red. Um, because I moved a unit where their go-to would be, they would declare war on me by attacking me, by a sneak attack. Because their go-to was basically going, oh, I'm already going here. My immediate action is to attack, regardless of any other diplomatic relations. It's part of the reason why the AI was so screwed up on diplomacy in this game. Because you weren't really diplomatizing anything. New Guardian Spirit. They're going down there. You're patrolling. And we're going to see if we can take this one on. Many Earth Elementals. So the reason why I think I might be able to take this is because the Earth Elementals are slow. So I have time. And I have a lot of ammo. Oh, right, you actually have a item that is nature-based, which means that you can do that. Something. Yep, that's worth it. Uh, Wolf Riders, for reference, are actually a normal unit, not a fantastic unit. So I should be casting heroism more, but i um, a bit busy. You're my first target. I see one that... Yeah, you're nearly dead. I just noticed. Okay. 
See what I mean by we might actually be able to take these on? I mean, we are starting to run low on ammo, so it's not perfect. Yeah, magicians are now out of ammo. We have first strike? No. Might as well attempt. It's probably going to get dispelled. Yeah. But magicians can't do anything else, so there's no reason not to try. Honestly. Fireball's probably not the best. It's 12 per. That's a strength 23 on one unit. Starfires is better. Yeah, I didn't think that would work, but, you know, worth a shot. Weaken that one. You're out of ammo. You're not. That worked. Uh, let's go ahead and have you try to cast a healing spell. Yep. That's what I would expect to have happen. Oop, I did not mean to... Oh, it worked out anyway. This is the last of your ammo. So not great. Victory! Gained one fame and 750 mana crystals. Ooh, we've got mana for days. Also means it's time for another Guardian Spirit. Another. You said it, kitty. Alright. We are past an hour. I'm gonna finish up this turn. And call it here. Let's go ahead and save this at 03.02. Oh, I should mention that this game added in an autosave system. There was supposed to be an autosave system in uh, Master of Magic. The last patch actually added it, it just doesn't work. So what this game, this uh, Caster of Magic does, is it actually creates a new file every turn of your saves. Including an extra autosave, I think. Um, so you can just restore the most recent file. Which is a really interesting way of backporting that. Anyway, I've been Aetherspoon, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!